hot chocolate on my eye. What the heck? Hey guys, welcome back to another pink box unboxing Monday. Welcome back to another crumble Monday. Okay, I hope y'all's Monday is going smooth. You're not having like a typical Monday. Let's check out these cookies. First cookie or the cookie that I'm most excited for this week is definitely the Boston cream. None of the other ones really are like sticking out to me as much as the Boston cream. Oh, and the Oreo one. I forgot we had an Oreo one. The Boston cream one looks really, really good. And I never knew that I liked Boston cream until I tried the Boston cream donut from Dunkin', I think. Up is the chocolate Swiss roll. Oh, and she's going to be falling apart. This is the chocolate Swiss roll. It says, a warm chocolate cookie topped with chocolate glaze and a delightful swirl of marshmallow frosting. So let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, I forgot how to get started his cookie. That literally, that's good. Mm, good. It is good. That is good. I did not think I was going to like that cookie. I swear I thought that they had brought this. Y'all, I got chocolate on my eye. What the heck? I was going to like that. I don't typically like Swiss rolls. Like, I don't hate them, but they're not my favorite. But that is very good. Very, tastes just like a Swiss roll. Just like a Swiss roll. Super soft. Love the chocolate, like, icing glaze on top i love the the marshmallow the marshmallow it's just good that is that's a 10 out of 10 i did not think i was gonna like that like i said i swear i thought that they had brought that out before maybe it was like a different cookie and i just thought that it was a swiss roll i don't remember but i swear i thought they had brought a swiss roll out before next is the salted caramel cheesecake as y'all know, I'm not the biggest fan of caramel, but we're going to see. Okay. A graham cracker cookie topped with cheesecake, frosting, caramel, and sea salt. Let's give it a try. Oh. It's a lot of salt on top. Man, the caramel is stuck in my teeth. This actually isn't bad. The caramel is very sticky, which it's caramel, so it's going to be. But, ooh, that first spot had a lot of sea salt on there. And it wasn't bad. It was just like a lot of sea salt. But the cookie base is really good, too. And I like the frosting. I like the frosting on top. I keep looking at the description to make sure I'm saying the right stuff. But the frosting, on the cheesecake frosting on top, the graham cracker crust, I really, really like. Here lately, I've been really liking Crumple's Graham Cracker Crust. I feel like this is a good cookie. If you like salty and a little bit of sweet, I feel like you're going to really like this. Next is the confetti cookie. And y'all, there's something missing on top. Y'all, can y'all tell what's missing? The confetti. Y'all, my thing keeps dimming and I can't see the description. It's because it's almost dead. But this is the confetti cookie. You can tell that it's like baked in there. But there's normally like confetti pieces on top. It says a burst of confetti sprinkles and a sugar cookie topped with pink vanilla cream cheese frosting. Oh, I guess there isn't any confetti pieces on top. I swear they used to put confetti pieces on top of this whenever they would bring it out. Am I tripping? Did they not? I don't know. Let's give it a try. This is a lot of icing. It is, it is pretty good though. The cookie base is really good. It tastes like a, just like a vanilla cookie. Not vanilla cookie. A sugar cookie. It tastes really good. If they use their sugar cookie base to make like a Christmas cookie, that would be so good because it literally tastes kind of like the Pillsbury sugar cookies. 
you know, that you get, that you can eat raw, but you're not really supposed to. It tastes so good. This has been around for a while. They have not brought out their, their, uh, what is it called? Their pink belt, no, pink sugar. I have not seen that at Crumble in a long time. I've seen that they were going to take it away. I thought they were going to, like, rotate it with, like, the chocolate chip. And, like, one week have the chocolate chip, the next week have the pink sugar. But instead, they rotated it with the chocolate chunk, which I'm not mad about. Because I love that cookie. That cookie's good. Okay. And next, we have the chocolate cookies and cream. I don't know what is going on with me. I looked at the cookies last night at, like, 5 my time whenever, like, they the cookies on display or whatever on Instagram. And I was not paying attention. I seen Boston Cream and I was like, oh, that's a good one for this week. That's the one I had my eye on. And I did not know they had brought out the Oreo cookies and cream or the chocolate cookies and cream until I just went in there a second ago. I was not paying attention at all. But we have an Oreo cookie this week. Yay. Huh? This is the chocolate cookies and cream. A chocolate cookie packed with cookies and cream pieces then studded with creamy white chips okay yeah let's give it a try actually i'm gonna break it so that way i get a bite of like the oreo on top Johnny, Johnny. Mm. this one is good this one tastes like mm. This tastes like they just grounded up Oreos and put like a little bit, it kind of tastes like an Oreo brownie. If you made like Oreo brownies, like you just grounded up, if you just grounded up the Oreos and made a brownie like base instead of using cocoa or any type of chocolate to make the brownie, that's what this tastes like. And I've had it before. It's good. Mm. That's a 10 out of 10. Mm. Okay. And then we have the Boston Cream. I love Crumbles Pies, but this is the Boston Cream. A buttery pie cookie topped with tasty vanilla pastry cream and a rich chocolate ganache. Y'all, yeah, last night, so my husband's been taking French. You guys know my husband's in the military, so he's been taking French as like a class to like learn French to speak if they go to like a different country. Tell me why I was like, oh hey, do, is this? Am I saying this right? Please. Like the ganache? And he was like, he said it a French way, but it wasn't the right way. And I was like, because he tries to mess with me sometimes, and I was like, there ain't no way. So I looked it up on Google, and it's ganache it's ganache i just thought that was funny because he wanted me to say something crazy so to get you guys to be like that's not how you say that megan i'm like i already mispronounced a lot of stuff wrong please don't do this to me but this is the boston cream mm. there's one thing that crumble does right and that's make pies or not make pies, but make cookie pies. It's so good. They always do such a good job with their pies. They're like, I love custard. And I just love more base than I do icing and everything. And I just feel like it's always like so good. Like it's always just, oh, uh, it's just so good. Okay let's rate this week i think my top favorite this week would definitely have to be the oreo and it's crazy because i feel like the weeks that i don't think that i'm gonna really enjoy as much as prior weeks because like you know sometimes you know the flavors just don't stick out to you like they stick out to other people this week i didn't think i was gonna be like super excited to go to go to crumble this week and try it but i feel like the the weeks that i'm like get most excited about going to crumble is the weeks that they have like six different flavors or five different flavors that i really really like but this week i'm really really this week was a, probably like an eight out of ten eight point five out of ten the my first favorite definitely had to be the oreo one of course second favorite boston cream all the way so good love 
crumbles custard when they make custard my third favorite definitely had to be the swiss roll like i said crumble is so good about nailing their flavors when they're set they say that they're gonna like do something a certain way they're so good about the flavors that they say they're gonna have the cookie taste like that's just crazy and then um next i definitely think probably the caramel cheesecake that i don't really like caramel i don't really always i love cheesecake but i don't really like cheesecake cookies but that's a really good i feel like crumble has like gotten a lot better with their cheesecake flavor icing whenever they come out with a cheesecake cookie because like i said before a lot of places you don't really get a cheesecake taste like if you say something's gonna taste like cheesecake it better taste like a cheesecake and not taste like icing because cheesecake doesn't taste like icing cheesecake tastes like cheesecake okay but yeah they've gotten a lot better with like perfecting their cheesecake tasting i feel like and that cookie was really good it's so good on their um graham cracker crust their graham cracker cookie base is so stinking good and it's not like sweet it's just like graham crackery you know but that was really good definitely very sea salty my cookie had a lot of sea salt on it but I, it wasn't bad it just caught me off guard and then last was probably the the confetti cake i don't know i'm just not really a fan of that one it kind of reminds me a little bit of the pink sugar to an extent like the icing's obviously different the cookie base is different but i'm not really the biggest fan of crumbles pink sugar either and i'm not really the hugest fan of the confetti cake one it's just not my favorite it's just not my favorite but this week i feel like this week was a success love the oreo super happy when i walked into crumble and i see that there was going to be an oreo cookie but this week was an 8.5 out of 10 y'all comment down below what cookie are you looking for most to try this week what cookie was your favorite did you like any week did you like the cookies are you gonna go try them or is this week just not your week i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe click that notification bell down below so you always get notified when i post a video i love y'all so so much stay safe be kind to one another and hopefully i see you all in my next video bye guys i love you <laughs>